We're on the road again today and um, my brothers wrote me into going out and having a look at a um, bee nest that's fallen on the ground. So we'll go out for a drive and see what we can find but um, we'll probably rehouse this um, bee nest and put it inside a, a hive and yeah see how we go but it's a um, beautiful day in winter here in Australia but um, we're on about probably 11 or 12 degrees centigrade and um, our bee season's just about to start so let's get on the road and have a look so let's go and find a, a bee nest that's dropped on the ground that Luke's so kindly offered to go and rescue Heading out to Gundarimba. We're going to stop at Macca's on the way, get a, um, what's the dirt rooster say? I'm going to get me some nuggets and two chicken wings and a coleslaw. Right, give you a look at the countryside. We've got some gum trees over here, a few koalas over there and kangaroos. So here we are Rod, just going down the paddock here. So, what do you want to say Rod? Yeah, it's a bit of a rough rocky road but looks like a nice, have a look at the outlook out there. Beautiful. Whole stand of gum trees. And we've got the yellow flower, that's fireweed here in Australia. It's a pest but um, really good pollen for the bees. Alright, so we're at the site, um, and here's our bee nest that's fallen down from up the tree up there. And we'll have a look at it and see um, see what they're like. So we start buzz me. Slimed out already. I say the queen's dead. You never know that. But I think she might be dead. Because it's landed on its side, they can't go in and out, can they? No. So there wasn't much we could do with that hive, so we ended up just leaving it there. Um, and hopefully the the queen wasn't dead, and they um, could go back up in the tree because there was still a bit of comb up in the tree. So that's beekeeping anyway. Okay, so that one wasn't much of a success, but we look forward to the next job, and we'll catch you around then. See us.